You know, I thought it was a really good spring. I mean, you know, I like the the variety of guys we got in there in pivotal roles. Um, you, you saw a lot of depth out there. We had a couple of injuries through the spring. Nothing that'll be real long term, but you know, we didn't really take a step back. We were able to you know continue to grow, um, which was a really good thing. Um, thought we really evolved Armani's game. I mean, we we know who he is, and you know, the the tough thing in spring is you know, in a lot of the situations, you're you're working third and longs every day for ten minutes, and that's something he's got to get better at. And it's not a great situation. For him. But I mean, I'll tell you what, when, when you're working, um, you know, third and mediums below, when you're working the, the first and second down stuff, and you watch his evolution, his, you know, his, his level of comfort, and um, he looks really, really good. And the thing about it is, we all know he gains his confidence from being an athlete and running the ball and making big plays. You don't really have an opportunity to do that in the spring. So for him to be able to be as successful as he was, to have the completion percentage, I think 68%, threw one pick the entire spring and every single thing that we did. For him to do that and not kind of, you know, be that guy that, you know, is making the plays with his feet and gaining the confidence doing it, that's a good sign. Uh, so love that part. Um, you know, again, we're deep in the running backs. We all know that. That's good. Um, defensively, I thought uh, Coach Skip and the crew did a really good job of, of communicating, getting the guys to, to, to play hard, to tackle better, uh, to communicate. You know, he didn't do too much. I mean, heck, when the spring game, he had two calls. He made two calls. The entire game, you know, didn't blitz, didn't pressure, didn't do any of those things, just because he wanted them to go through the entire deal and just communicate and get lined up and play hard and play fast, you know. And you know, so he's really committed to the to, to the, um, the principles that he's trying to instill on that side of the ball. Specialist wise, I, I thought it was uh, really good. I mean, we you know we've developed some depth there, you know, some competition in the kicking game, um, w which is really good. And, so overall, I thought I thought it was good. I mean, we came out with a real opportunity last year, I think, to go out and play games, and, and we showed. I mean, there's eight, nine games out there that you had the potential to win, and you win five, so we've gotten better, which is a good thing, and, and we left some out there. Now you come back to spring, and almost the entire crew returns. I mean, offensively, there's not many differences out there. You, you lose a left tackle, you know, a tight end, but everybody almost in the whole two deeps back. You know, defensively, you return some really pivotal guys, Jericho Flowers, um, you know, you, you, you've got guys in the interior that are stepping up to replace guys like Mike Hughes. Linebacker core almost all returns. You know, safeties are going to be better and more experienced. Struggled a little bit last year, but they just look a year older, look a year stronger. Um, so I like it. I mean, I like our depth. You know, guys like Gabe McCoy really jumping onto the scenes. Colo um, did a really good job at the D-tackle spot. Uh, Khalili at the corner spot is really, I mean, he's a really good football player. So, again, we have a ways to go. But compared to, you know, where we've been in the past, where we are now, we're definitely at another evolution.